Ladies and gentlemen, welcome in to the worst or best of Tinder. Basically, all I did was I went on the subreddit for Tinder. It's got 5.6 million members and I went to the highest rated posts all time and like in within the past week and things like that and I'm just going to be reacting to some of these Tinder experiences. These people, they screenshot, they go on Tinder, they do a little talking and then they screenshot things that are interesting. So let's see what this is all about. This person says, was this too harsh? Forgive my ignorance, but what's an ODP? Google it, she says. Or is that a dude? I, I don't know. I think it's a, it's a woman's account who says that. I tried to start a conversation by giving you the opportunity to talk about something you're presumably interested in. Obviously, I can fucking Google it. So yeah, that's an immediate turn off. You're not going to want it. You know, you're a dude. I don't even know what an ODP is. You're trying to start a conversation. You're, you're going on to Tinder. You know, as a male, you have an obligation to be the first person you match with a hot girl. You've got to say something first. Those women aren't, aren't going to start conversations, especially if they're hot. If you match with a hot girl on Tinder, you, have, you just have to understand, she's matching with minimum however many people she wants. Whether it's 20 people a day, 30 people a day, you've got to say something first. So you try and start a conversation. What the hell is an ODP? I don't know what it is. So this gentleman asks what an ODP is. And he gets hit with immediate attitude. This woman saying, Google it. Yeah, that's a turn off. I would just end the conversation right there. We've got this person who has said that he dedicates his Tinder account to telling females about train facts. And he says, to start off the conversation, I have train facts. Tell me your dirtiest train fact in 1825 there was a guy so thick, he literally caused a steam locomotive to explode using only his ass. I'm impressed. The locomotive's name was Best Friend of Charleston, and the thick man was a fireman and the man in charge of keeping the fire burning. He got annoyed by the sound of the safety valve, so he sat on it, and then the train exploded. Wait, I just fact-checked it and you're right, wow, I thought you made that up, to be honest. I never make up train facts. So we've got an absolute legend here getting women using train facts. Uh, this one, well shit, lucky me, are you actually a mascot? Yeah, lol, I'm the eagle. That's really cool, lol, I didn't know anyone else who's a mascot. I've never met a person in my life. Now maybe it's because they don't want to say they're a mascot, I don't think I've ever met anyone that's a mascot. You know the high school teams, they have like the eagle mascot, whatever. I don't think I've ever met someone that's in the mascot clothing. The weirdest thing about the mascot situation, if you've got like a girl mascot, nine, actually like 99% chance there's a male inside of the girl mascot. So you think it's this girl mascot, your brain immediately assumes there must be a female inside of that mascot because the outside of it is a female, but 99% of the chance it's a male inside. Very odd situations. And then he says, number one, if, we're, if, if I'm using Tinder, I'm not responding five times in a row. And I know people do this because they want to split it up, but I would never just auto respond five times. But this dude says, yeah, it's pretty neat. We're not supposed to tell people though. And a lot of people ask, who is the eagle? Because they don't know, but nobody asks how the eagle is, and it gets to you sometimes. Aw, oh, man. Well, how's the eagle? <laughs> Horny. Okay, that's a good response. <laughs> that was nice. Uh, and then we've got this. So this dude went all out. This I I'm not going to say he's desperate because, you know, people do different things. This dude, I if he doesn't get pussy for this, he made a full slideshow, a fucking presentation, like a Google, you know we make presentations for school, Google slides, this dude made like seven slides each page, there's like a photo of him, why you should date me, and then this page, visual aid, <laughs> you can see like the overall at the bottom it says before matching, after matching, after first date, butt touching, after first, it's just a funny thing I thought, 
And I'm sure that absolutely, that that's, overall, that's going to help you get more matches. The more women know about you, the more likely they will be to match with you. Obviously, some cases, you know, let's be real. With these Tinder things, if you're better looking, no matter how bad your profile is, if you're better looking, you're going to do better. Let's just call it what it is, folks. But still, that's a good job by him. He seemed like a relatively... A tr I don't have any more photos, unfortunately, but I saw his profile. Uh, and then this one, apparently this girl's bio, it, in her bio, she states, Kentucky is the only U.S. state that starts with the letter K. And then this dude responds, Kansas, question mark. So I'm just giving some backstory. Candace, dick fit in your mouth. That's what she says. Ah, fuck me. I walked right into that one. So you put an anthem in your bio. You like tapes and CDs. No, LOL, I'm not 60. Well, that's unfortunate because I'm gonna take this, I'm gonna tape this dick to your forehead so you can see these nuts. Oh my god, marry me, I'm speechless. So a, a great start to the conversation for this dude. Oh my goodness, they're they're hitting it off. <laughs> so this one. She doesn't speak English, and I'm 90% sure that the last line is a Google translation of Sugar Daddy, and I can't stop la laughing. You can see the first line, it says Toxic Girl. And then the last line, I need my own diabetic father. So obviously she must have tried to do some sort of translation for Sugar Daddy. I need my own Sugar Daddy, and that's what it translated to. I have no clue what language that is. Maybe it's some form of Russian or something. Um, this one, so this woman who's 31, right under her name, she's got about 10 emojis saying she's a red flag, which must be, I don't know if it's a new trend or something, uh, but I got pretty high standards for someone who really does just come to the table as a 5'3", red flag with E-cup titties, five kids, a criminal record, and a bratty attitude. So it's like the new thing. Let me tell you all my flaws. Five kids, criminal rec record. I'm a bitch, but you're going to still date me because I'm showing my tits in my photo. And she's got a lot. Of, I don't know. I don't know any of the other photos she has, but this was just a screenshot. Very interesting there. Uh, hello there, red, white, and beautiful. Are you tired of weak beta males that drink soy lattes? Soy is for pussies, and I'm here to grab yours. I like my woman like I like my coffee hot and ready in the morning. Every time I get an erection, a bald eagle cries out in American pride, and the flag flies a little harder. I don't negotiate with terrorists or toddlers. I'm a free American, and I want to know if you're free tonight. <laughs> oh, amazing. Amazing. Uh, Friends University is where he studied. Beautiful. 33-year-old. This uh, young lady who's 19 has a very, uh, looks like, you know, very conservative photo here. Yes. She says, I'm 5'2". We, period, are, period, not, period, gonna, period, fuck, period. And then the caption was, you know, you put photos like this and then you say that. No, I don't think we would fuck. I think we need to, what we need to do is start a GoFundMe to get her some breast implants. That's a low blow. I'm sorry. That's... Why is that the first thing you ask anyways? Kind of racist if you ask me. I don't like white men. LOL. I'm making sure you're not 100% white. I guess it's racist, but oh well. So she clarifies. The, the, the person is like, listen, you're asking if I'm white, you know, whatever. I'm guessing she asked her nationality or whatever. So the person says, listen, that's a little bit racist. And then she clarifies and says, oh no, I am a racist. I am racist. I don't like, I'm just making sure. Yeah, I'm right. It's, it's, like, it's like the person saying, you know, it seems a little bit racist, you asking me this, and then she says, oh yes, to clarify, I'm racist, right. I'm just asking, so, uh, just a, a, a very odd encounter there. Then we've got this one, and, and this was originally from Hinge, and it's a conversation, the guy got her number, they've moved to iMessage, or I guess this is not iMessage because it's Android, because the green, whatever, I don't, I don't know. Uh, it says, you removed me from Hinge. Is that good or bad? I was going to get in touch after Labor Day. 
I'm really sorry, but I felt like we didn't have the right connection. I wish you all the, the best. So the woman is in the green. She's responding to the guy. Uh, I don't think it's fair to have a change of heart so soon. You've been on my mind more than any other person this week, even before I got your number. I reflected and we are just in different places in our lives. Hmm. Okay, I guess. I noticed we did have some different goals, even though you said, quote, I have some time. Uh, do you think maybe I could get a topless photo or something? So I don't feel like I've left empty-handed. Yes. Yes, sir. Good good call. Are you fucking kidding me? You're disgusting. Peace out. So this dude, you know what? He's invested some time into talking to this lady. He's looking for a little bit of a reward. Obviously, no. It's, you know, you shouldn't be doing that. But this is a funny conversation. The dude is basically, you know, trying to connect. He sees she removed him from Hinge. He's texting her what's going on. She's like, it's not going to work out. He's like, come on, you got my hopes up. Can I at least get a freaking nude or something? <laughs> no, you should not do this, but it is a funny situation. Hey, do you still want to go to dinner tomorrow? Yeah, of course. I get off at 6 and can pick you up around 6.30. One, what took you so long to respond? Two, why do you type with caps? It's weird. So this is actually a funny... Number one, if we look at the time... It, it, it is a decently long time to respond, honestly. Let, let's be honest. Yesterday, 7.56, uh, the person, I'm guessing it's a girl because girls are known for never using caps on their phone. And, and this is something I figured out when I started to do, when I was doing Tinder. I mean, none of these chicks have caps on their phone, which was weird to me. But apparently that's the new trend. And when I asked, they were like, oh, it's weird when you have one capital letter and then a lowercase letter. That's what they were telling me. But, um... He said, you know, it was honestly, I mean, you know, you text them at 7.50 at night and they don't respond till 8.50 the next morning. I don't know the relationship dynamic. I don't want to speculate too much on this situation, but it is a little bit long of a time. Come on, let's be real. But then she says, why did you take so long to respond? Listen, if you guys have never met, you can't be saying that. You got to at least have a few meetings and then you can kind of get mad if, if your significant other or someone you're talking to doesn't respond. And then two, why do you type with caps? It's weird. That's just a weird thing to say. I mean, I think if, if you're a girl, most guys don't have their caps turned off, at least in my experience. I, I type with caps and things like that, so I don't know. Um, anyone else lose interest when people say shit like this? Hey, it's so-and-so from Bumble. Oh, thank God it's not a green bubble. What's wrong with green text? It just isn't the same LOL, interesting. So yeah, very odd behavior here. Um, I personally like Apple over Android. I think iPhones are easier to use in terms of being accessible just the way. Um, but no, I, I don't notice when people, you know, have different color text. I don't know why. It's almost like a cult thing, you know. All right, boys, what do I do here? So let's see this situation. What do you like to do on dates? Smiley face as in... So I, I'd imagine the dude is in the um, is in the yellow. Uh, like, what activities do you like to do for dates? Coffee, museums, walk in the park, movie, etc. None of these. LOL. So then what? Real dates. What do you consider a real date? If I have to tell you, it isn't worth it. So brother, I'd imagine she's talking about, you know, going out to dinner. Uh, that would be my guess on what she is hinting at, uh, so I, I don't know, I mean, all those seem like coffee museums, they seem normal, but the only thing he didn't say was like dinner, I guess, that's what I would think is a real date, you know, with a dude, so I don't know, uh, was this too harsh, what are your thoughts, so he tells her, the dude is in the, uh, blue, he tells her that he's 5'9", and she responds, 5'9", broken heart emoji, and then says, no kids, what's with the heartbroken emoji? Usually not into shorter guys, but at this point, it is really a deal breaker. Is is it really a deal breaker? Oh, well, I can't control my height. I also can't control what people are attracted to. Truth on both. And then she says, well, can we see if we still click? So, yeah, these situations happen all the time, unfortunately. And guys, I have to say, if you are a female... And, and, and there is a guy that's shorter than you, 
I understand women not being a tra- not liking that. Legitimately, I know it's tough. Um, it's a situation where the relationship dynamic, if the female is taller than the male, for women, it, it's really a weird, and, and men, it's just a weird relationship dynamic for some people. And this has kind of been one of the bigger, you know, areas in terms of dating where men are getting pissed off that women, you know, if you're a 5'8 dude, I'm not saying you're screwed, but it's going to be tougher for you. It is uh, just because women don't like the dynamic. Although I I will say, even if like this dude said he was 5'9", normally you're all right. I mean, she must be pretty tall. Normally, at least with most women, they just want to be shorter than you. It does. You don't have to be 6'1 or 6'2". Obviously, that can be a bonus if you are that tall, that can open more doors for you, you know, if you know what I'm saying. But um, yeah, this is a situation that's unfortunate. Some women just refuse. Like if you're the same height or you're shorter than a girl, I mean, there are a lot of women that say, I don't care how, you know, your personality, how you look, especially online dating. If you say you're five seven, five six, very tough. Very, very, very tough if you are a dude. So that is unfortunate. But guys, this was just kind of the worst of Tinder or the, you know, just interesting moments from Tinder. Just thought it was a funny thing to do from Reddit. But that is going to do it for this video, guys. Make sure you're following me on Twitter. Link to that's always in the description. I'm, of course, the Depressed Ginger. Thank you for watching.